Imagine you're babysitting some kid, and he asks you a really obscure piece of Minecraft trivia. And when you get it wrong, because you don't sweat Minecraft 12 hours a day, the kid attacks and bites you for quote-unquote disrespecting Minecraft. Today we'll get a story time of a Minecraft kid who bites his babysitter, aka the subscriber who submitted the story. So sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video to claim you free nothing. With that all being said, let's jump right into it. So we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Nico because I'm just going down through my middle school friend name list. And uh, yeah, so anyways, Nico had to babysit this kid. He was the kid of a mom that Nico's friends was really good friends with. So Nico's like, dang, I got to do this, bro. And his mom's like, yeah, dude, you got to babysit this kid. Was Nico trying to do it? No. He also wasn't even being paid that much. Like his mom's like, you're going to be paid $10, which, look, $10 is $10, but $10 for like five hours bro, that's not very good. Like that's, that's like two bucks an hour, man. That's some, that's some like not even close to minimum wage type, but whatever. Right. You know, Nico's like, I got to do this for my mom. Basically it's her friend's son. So Nico is driven over by his mom and is dropped off. And Nico gets to the front door of the kid that he has to babysit. We're just going to call him the Minecraft kid. It's not super clear right now, but you'll see pretty soon why I call him the Minecraft kid. So anyways, the Minecraft kid's mom gets to the door and she's like, oh, welcome in. I'm so happy you could do this. I'm sorry I was so last minute. Like, thank you so much. Like, you and your mom are a lifesaver here. And Nico's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I got you. Like, uh, where's your son? And she's like, oh, oh, he's, he's upstairs. And all of a sudden you hear, oh, oh. Like, okay, I'm not doing a really good job, but just like kind of think of like the Minecraft zombie sound, like that. Ooh, I don't know. Like last time I said the zombie moaning, but then that got really weird because you guys were weirdos in the comments. The zombie groaning, okay? Is that better? I don't even know that's better. Zombie noises. We're just going to say Minecraft zombie noises so you guys can't be weird in my comment section. God! Leave a like for uh, one, all the brain cells I'll lose during the story. But yeah, he's like, he hears kind of this zombie moaning noise. Uh, this zombie noise. And, uh, you know, Nico's like, kind of looks at, you know, the Minecraft kid's mom in a look of confusion. And the Minecraft kid's mom is like, oh, yeah, so I got to explain this to you. And Nico, for a split second, was thinking like, oh, is she going to explain that her son was bitten by a zombie from a secret CIA-like project and that he's an actual real-life zombie? And for that, she'll pay him $5 more to deal with him? But no, she basically goes on to explain that, you know, her son, the Minecraft kid, has started to watch and play way too much Minecraft, and he once died recently in Minecraft to a zombie, and ever since then, he thinks that he is actually a zombie. Yeah, the Minecraft kid thinks since he was, like, killed by a zombie in-game that he has become a Minecraft zombie in real life. But yeah, all he does, I mean, he basically is a zombie, bro. He's playing video games all day, 24-7, at 3 in the morning, at 3 in the afternoon. Minecraft every day. Look, Minecraft is a pretty good game, but don't be playing it 24 hours a day, bro. Yeah, but this kid basically is like, you hear, whoa, more like Minecraft zombie noises. And the mom's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He might be a little difficult, but, you know, he's a good kid at heart. And you hear, whoa, <laughs> And she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? Like, not much I can do about that. And Nico's like, oh, that's fine. Like, back when I was a kid, like, I used to play Minecraft with my friends. Like, that was actually back in the day when it, like, just came out, too. It was, like, a really cool multiplayer game or whatever. Like, you know, I, that's a good game. Like, I, I love it. I respect it. Like, I can understand why your son likes it so much. And that's when you hear the zombie noises getting, getting a little bit louder. And that's when you hear, see this kid, because he's like on the second floor. He starts crawling down the stairs in all fours, which I don't know why he was crawling. It's not like he thought he was a Minecraft spider. He thought he was a Minecraft zombie. But either way, kid is crawling down on all fours. And he's like, <laughs> trying to do that, like the zombie hiss noise. Like, <laughs> I'm obviously doing a terrible job, but just deal with me, right? And he, he kind of like crawls down the stairs and, and the, the Minecraft kids, or I should say the Minecraft zombie kid, his mom's like, oh, Minecraft kid, here he is, Nico. The, like, like Minecraft kid, obviously says his real name, but Minecraft kid, I would like you to meet Nico. He'll be your babysitter. And Nico looks at this kid who's on all fours, who's in like a creeper shirt and is like, mo <laughs> he's doing like Minecraft noises like or zombie noises like, oh, kind of looks at him and says, hey, man, what's up? And this kid looks at, like, Nico and goes, whoa, whoa, and, 
and the Minecraft kid's mom's like, sorry about that. You know, he's still in his zombie era right now. He still thinks he's a zombie right now. So sorry about that, bro. And Nico's like, all right, that's fine, whatever. And the Minecraft kid says something in English for once. And he's like, I heard, like, I heard you like Minecraft. And at this point, like, the Minecraft kid's mom's like, Nico, I'm so sorry. I really got to go right now. But it sounds like you guys are going to start a nice conversation. So I'm just going to say goodbye. And Nico's like, uh, what? Uh, okay. And she just, like, walks out the door. I think Loki, she wasn't even going anywhere. She just needed a break from her son. So she's probably, like, getting in the car, driving around the corner, and then taking a power nap for four hours. Or maybe she's actually doing something. Who knows? But the Minecraft kid's like, I heard that you liked Minecraft. And Nico's like, yeah, I used to play it a long time ago with my friends. And the Minecraft kid is like, you better not be lying to me, are you? And Nico's like, what? Like, why would I be lying right now? Like, that makes no sense. Like, yeah, I'm not lying. Like, what are you saying? He's like, good. Well, that means that you can answer my Minecraft trivia questions. And Nico's like, oh, well, dude, I'm actually not that good. Like, I used to play a little bit with my friends back in the day. He's like, silence! You already said that you didn't lie, so you should be able to answer these easily. And, you know, Nico's like, oh, okay, like, sure. Nico was kind of expecting that the questions were going to be like, when you start the game, what is the character you can choose? Like, what are the characters you can choose between? Which is like Steve and Alex. Like, I mean, maybe, like, he didn't even know about Alex at this time because he only played when Steve was the option. Loki, uh, like, I, I, I bet Nico only played, like, Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite or something. That was the game I used to play back when I was, like, 12 or whatever. Fire game. It was free, too. But anyways, yeah, so, you know, the Minecraft kid, instead of asking him really basic questions, his first question, he's like, First, you must answer all three correctly to be granted access to the dungeon. Which, I guess the dungeon was, like, his room or whatever, so he could show off his, like, Lego Star Wars stuff. But he's like, First question. When you play someone in Minecraft PvP, what is what are the three items that are most useful? First of all, that's kind of a subjective question, but like Nico was like Minecraft PvP. He's like when you fight someone in Minecraft, player versus player, obviously. And Nico's like, uh, well, I think a sword's pretty good. And Nico was right on that. Then he's like, uh, uh, like, uh, like steak and blocks. The Minecraft kid's like, me wrong. You want a fishing rod for proper knockback, and then you also want golden apples for fast recovery. You are wrong in your first question. Let's see if you can redeem yourself. Question number two. And at this point, Nico was kind of just thinking to himself, like, bro, I don't know this game, bro. Like, what, what do you expect from me, dude? I don't know this game. And I've told you many times, I don't know this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I like, I don't play this game. This is like someone who like has played Call of Duty once and then eight years later, they go to their final exam in math and it's like the teacher's like, all right guys, whatever you learn this year, like the quadratic equations, the all the differential calculus, you don't even need to worry about that. We just gotta, I just gotta ask you technical questions about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's like, wait, hold up a second. How do you expect me to get these answers, bro? But yeah, so he's like, meh, next question. You have a chance to redeem yourself. Ever since version 1.7.6, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying stuff at this point. He's like, what is like, at what Y level do diamonds spawn at most? I think the answer is like 15 to 20. That might be totally wrong, but that used to be the case. It was like a little bit above bedrock. I remember this. And at this point, um, <laughs> Nico didn't even like understand how many layers there were. I think when he played back in the day, like, it didn't even spawn all that way down. So he's like, uh, uh, isn't it, like, right below the surface? Which is kind of just proof that, like, he has not played this game in a long time. And the Minecraft kid's like, no! Diamonds are not just below the surface! That's ridiculous! He's, like, honestly having a bit of a freaking breakdown, meltdown, freakout moment right now. Which they're all kind of just like, bro, what, what's going on right now? And uh, Nico's like, okay, bro, like, I obviously don't know the game that well. Like, maybe we can talk about something else. He's like, silence! I will give you one chance. The final question. What is the end? What is, like, the final boss in Minecraft? 
And bro, I'm not even gonna lie, this question isn't that bad. It's pretty clearly the Ender Dragon. Sure, like, okay, in all fairness, I have played a lot of Minecraft. I used to love it back in the day, and then I really got back into the game over 2020. And then I just, you know, started a YouTube channel, which was basically around Minecraft, and then it kind of turned into this. And I still use Minecraft for most of my background gameplay. So yeah, maybe I'm a little biased, but I even feel like back when I played it a little bit, back when I was only aware of it, I knew about Steve, I knew about Creepers, I knew about Herobrine, and I knew about the Ender Dragon. I feel like you don't need to know much about Minecraft to know about those four things, right? And I guess less so now, kids don't know about Herobrine, but bro, if you want a bit of a nostalgia trip and you're about my age, just look up the old, like, Herobrine sighting videos on YouTube. Those are crazy. But anyways, right, Nico really did not play a lot of Minecraft. I mean, I'm pretty impressed he's able to answer the first question as well as he did, but he was like, uh, I don't know, the creeper? And when, <laughs> bro, it, it, it's like Nico insulted the Minecraft kid's mother because the Minecraft kid's reaction to Nico saying that the final boss in Minecraft was the creeper was like, no, no. Like this kid was freaking out. Like this kid was having a full on breakdown. It's as if like you took his, his like computer and smashed it on the ground, bro. It's as if you took his PS4 and threw it out the window. It's as if, I don't know, you took your dog, his dog, shaved all the hair off, renamed it and said, this is my dog now. Like the kid was freaking out right now. And like Nico's like, oh, like, I'm sorry. I thought the creepers were like the final boss or something. He's like, no, no, it's the ender dragon. You idiot. It is so so clearly, the Ender Dragon, I feel like you're just trying to make me mad at this point. And Nico's like, bro, I swear, it's just, it's like not that deep, bro. Like, you gotta trust me on this. It's simply not that deep. And the Minecraft kid's like, no, 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 you can't just be saying that. You don't understand what you just did. And the Minecraft kid kind of like goes into like all goes back down on all fours because he was standing up for a second and he like skills you know kind of like the position that frogs sit in they're like their hind legs are almost like cocked in front of them almost to like spring be in a perfect position to like spring up the minecraft kid starts saying charging spring attack and nico's like uh bro like what are you doing <laughs> Sorry, I just dropped my phone. That's why it sounds like the whole thing exploded for a second. Yeah. So he's like, uh, bro, like, what are you doing over here? And, this, and the Minecraft kid's like, charging my spring attack. And he's like, uh, spring attack? What do you mean in, like, the middle of saying, like, what do you mean by that? He sees the Minecraft kid jump at him with his, like, mouth open. And it looked like he was, like, going for the face, bro. Like, Minecraft kid was going for it. So, like, Nico obviously kind of, like, has a reflex to, like, cover, like, he's like, whoa, he outstand, he, like, extends his forearm a little bit or whatever to kind of, like, block the, like, the attack or whatever, and sure enough, you know, the Minecraft kid latches on with his teeth, sinks into his forearm, and Nico's like, gah, and the Minecraft kid's like, ah, just chomps in, right, he just chomps in. And he's just like, you know, and Nico's like, what are you doing? And the Minecraft kid's like mumbling. He's like, Whoa. he's like, because he, this is such a bad boy. He's like, what are you saying? He's like, because he, this is such a bad boy. He's like, because remember, this kid's teeth are like fully like sunk into his like arm at this point. So yeah, you're not understanding anything. That's just not going to happen, right? And so Nico's just like, what's, like, why are you biting me? Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment Minecraft down below. That'll be the secret word of the day. And also, I'll try and heart a bunch of those comments. So if you want to farm some hearts on the channel, not a bad place to start. Also, if you want to support the channel, one of the best things you can do is watch old videos. Just binge watch the old stories. And a super easy way to do that is through my playlist, of the Storytime playlist, which has all the stories. I will be linking it in the pinned comment down below. So if you want to help me out, just put on that playlist while you're doing something else. And let me know in the comment section what you're doing while watching the Storytime playlist. Like, are you, I, I, I don't know, man, are you like what, playing a video game? Are you... I don't know, it's trying to go to sleep. There's a lot of things you could be doing, and I'd love to hear what you're doing down below, so make sure to comment that. Anyways, let's get back into the story. So eventually, like, you know, Nico, basically what he does is he lifts his forearm up, like, high enough so that the Minecraft kid lifts off the ground for a second, and the Minecraft kid's jaw, he doesn't have, like, cobra-like jaw strength. So the Minecraft kid eventually falls off of him, and once he falls off of him, he asks him, why did you 
like, why did you bite me? And he's like, because you disrespected Minecraft. And, you know, Nico's like, what? Like, how did I disrespect Minecraft? He's like, well, you pretended to be a super fan, and then I asked you questions, and you failed the questions, so you deserve the bite. <laughs> and Nico's like, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I never said that I was a super fan. You're making that up right there. All I ever said was that, like, you know, I used to play it back with my friends. And then, you know, you said, is that true? And I said, yes, because it was true. And then you asked, like, oh, well, are you, like, a huge fan? And I said, no, but then you said that I was lying, and I already said that I was a huge fan. I tried to answer those questions, and look, like, I obviously don't know, but that even if I was pretending to be a Minecraft super fan and it turns out I was lying, that is no excuse for you to go out and bite me. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, are you serious right now? And, uh, yeah, so, you know, Nikos or the Minecraft kid's like, well, I did what I thought was right. And that is respectable. And Nico's like, no, that was not respectable. Like, you can't just, like, do something stupid and crazy and say, I did what I thought was right and be like, oh, well, applause, right? It's like, oh, I cheated on my final exams. And he's like, and the teacher's like, bro, what? And you're like, no, 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 I thought it was the right thing to do. So you must be nice to me and give me a pass and, a, I don't know, a sticker. It's like, it doesn't work that way, bro. Life just doesn't work that way. But yeah. So the Minecraft kid is like, you know, it, remember, Nico still has like two to three hours left with the Minecraft kid. Supposedly in an hour from now, the Minecraft kid is supposed to go to bed. So Nico's like, okay, I just have to survive another hour with this kid. And while the Minecraft kid for the next hour didn't bite him or anything, he was still being super annoying. He was walking around like a zombie. And when, you know, Nico's like, hey, like, what do you want to eat? Like, all, all we got here is like, I don't know. Like, we got some like pizza in the fridge. He's like... No, oh, Minecraft, so, like, as a zombie, I can only eat flesh, a.k.a. chicken, a.k.a. Chick-fil-A, get me Chick-fil-A. And Nico's like, bro, I don't have a car, and also, I'm not trying to door dash some Chick-fil-A, that's mad expensive. He's like, but the zombie won't eat pizza as it's not flesh. And, you know, then Nico goes on to say, well, actually, if you're a zombie, you'd only be eating rotten flesh. Or, or, like, rotting human flesh, and I, I, I don't really think that's the same thing as chicken. And the Minecraft kid's like, no, like, I'm a very special zombie that also eats chicken. And he's like, okay, bro, you're eating this pizza or you're not eating anything. Your mom says that you like this and that you'd eat it. So, uh, yeah, you should start eating this or else, like, you're just not going to eat anything. So the kid was being pretty annoying, but eventually it was 8 at, at night, which was his bedtime. So, you know, he's like, okay, like, zombie, mi or like, Minecraft kid, it's time for your bedtime, like... You can go upstairs. You can do whatever you want in your room. I don't really care as long as you're in there. And he's like, zombies are nocturnal. In Minecraft, they come out at night only. And, you know, Nico's like, okay, well, you're a very special zombie that goes to bed right now, bro. He's like, no, that part of me is normal. He's like, okay, well, then how were you up earlier today? Like, how were you walking around today if you only come out at night? Like, aren't you supposed to explode or something? He's like, I'm supposed to burn up, not explode. You're a fake Minecraft fan. And once again, he's like, bro. So Nico's like, dude, I explained to you, I'm not a Minecraft fan. I already said that. And he's like, oh, well, I have special armor on that allows me to be up at night and day. And he's like, okay, well, uh, can you at least do that in your room? He says, no. As a zombie, I'm going to walk around and figure it out. Like, I'm going to walk around and try and find some villagers to munch on. And Nico's like, okay, can you do that in your room? Can you walk around in your room to find villagers? And, you know, Minecraft kid's like, well, <laughs> what? Like, how do you expect me to find villagers in my room? As if he was going to find villagers walking around his house. And Nico's like, okay, look, your mom wants you to go to bed at 8. All you have to do is be in your room. It's not up to me if you fall asleep or not, but it is kind of up to me if you actually go to bed in your bed. Like, if, if you at least go into your bedroom. At least sit in your bed. And he's like... No, that will not happen. <sighs> There's like zombie noises again. He's like, okay, you know what? I'm done. Whatever. I'm going to the, I'm like, look, I can't deal with this anymore. So Nico sits down and just goes on his phone. And the Minecraft kid starts running around the house, like literally just sprinting around the house in circles. And Nico's head just like collapses on the ground. He's like, oh my God, just his hand, his like his head is in his forearms. It's like, bro, what's going on? Two hours later, the Minecraft kid is just like running around the house and the mom gets back. The mom gets back and she's like, oh, is, is he still up? 
And Nico's like, I've been trying to put him to bed for the last two hours. He just refuses. She says, oh my God, like, did anything else bad happen? And that's when the Minecraft kid kind of walks into the room. And Nico's like, well, yeah, I mean, your son did jump and bite me for a little bit and then refused to do anything I said. And then also refused to eat the food in the fridge. And she's like, he bit you? And Nico's like, well, yeah. And then the Minecraft kid's like, no, mom, he's lying. I didn't bite him. And Nico's like, all right, well, bro, try and explain this. Nico, like, reve- like, pulls down his sweater or shirt or whatever, or just somehow shows his forearm that still has the tooth marks. Thankfully, the skin wasn't broken because this kid's mouth was... I mean, any mouth is, like, full of gross bacteria, right? And if it breaks the skin, you might have to actually go to the hospital, get that checked up, make sure you're all right, maybe get some antibiotics or something. Thankfully, he didn't break the skin, but the impression was literally still there. Normally, like, a bite mark would go away after, like, 30 minutes, but the thing was still there. It was definitely a bit fainter than it was before, but you could still see it pretty clearly. And the mom turns to the Minecraft kid, and it's like, I can't believe that you would bite your babysitter. And the Minecraft kid frantically trying to figure out a way out of it is like, uh, no, he, he just bit himself. It was crazy. He like, uh, I was standing there being like, what's up, bro? And he's like, look at this. And he takes his forearm and he just takes a big chop out of it. He has (laughs) bites it. And then he's all like, I'm going to blame it on you. (laughs) Ha ha ha. I'm so evil. And, you know, Nico's like, oh, that's what I said. I'm going to bite my own arm and blame it on you. Ha, ha, ha. I'm so evil. Is that really what I said, bro? And the Minecraft kid's like, yeah, it's like totally what happened. And like, look, at this point, obviously the Minecraft kid's mom really doesn't like she has two sides to the story. But come on now. Are you really going to believe that the babysitter decided to frame your son by chomping into his own arm and being like, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to pretend this was you. Or do you believe that your son, who thinks he's a literal zombie in Minecraft, who bite other people, right? That's what zombies do. May or may not have bit the babysitter because the babysitter said so, and also has a big bite mark about the size of his little jaw because he was like, I don't know, 10 or whatever. And yeah, so obviously Minecraft kid's mom's like, oh, like, I obviously don't believe you. You definitely bit him. He's like, no, mom, he bit himself. She's like, just go to your room right now. So the Minecraft kid does, in fact, listen to his mom, which smart move, bro. Like, that's a good call. Always listen to your mom. Like, it's just better. You're better off that way, man. But anyways, Minecraft kid goes up to his room. And his mom, the Minecraft kid's mom's like, I'm so sorry about this. Like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I should be all right. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'll, I'll get, like, it's, it's not that bad. It didn't hurt or anything. And she's like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, like, here's another $10. And, you know, as much as Nico would have taken the $10 since, you know, this was his mom's friend. He's like, no, it's okay. Like, you know, I, I did the time and we can set to the, you know, the rate that we're supposed to be doing it. So Nico gets back home where his mom picks him up as 10. And on the car ride back, she's like, oh, Nico, how did it go? Did anything happen? And Nico's like, you know what? I'll tell you all about it. And obviously Nico tells, you, tells her the story that I just told you Click guys. on the video on screen Peace. right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it. Do it.